Hey guys, this is Devon here, and uh, in this snippet I will be showing you how to edit your starter and your welcome message. Uh, I'll show you exactly what that means in a second. But uh, I have the source open, I have the client. Now, if we log in, then you can see the text that appears when you log in. We're going to learn how to change that as well as the items you start with. So, to do this, all you have to do is open up our source, and go to the file called client.java. Open that up and you will see a whole bunch of text. Uh, I like uh, I do not word wrap it because it messes up a lot of indention and stuff. So, all we have to do is find some text which is included in the uh, in the starter, like "Welcome to Renegade PKs" or "www.renegade." Let's find that. So, to search, you do Control F. And this box will come up. So, we type in "www.ren." And you'll, oops, maybe, and you'll find something called actually welcome message. And so now you can um, change this to your cause. Uh, a little bit about the send message syntax. That's what SM send, uh, stands for. This is how you set it up. You do lowercase s uppercase M a uh, then you do uh, shit. lowercase lowercase s uppercase M a half circle um, then quotations then you'll put your text for example we'll put welcome to your server then we end it with a quotation mark, another parenthesis, and uh, a semicolon to end it. Uh, you can edit this to your needs, like for example, play at your server.com, welcome to your server, make sure to do the quotations, uh, parenthesis, and the semicolon. Then we'll go over here and we'll save it and shut it down. Then because it's a Java file, we want to compile it. Oops. Then because it's a Java file, we're going to want to compile it. So we run the compiler. And we're done. Now just uh, restart the source and there you are. You have your new welcome message. Now to edit the starter it's uh, fair, uh, It's pretty much the same idea. It also deals with client.java. First you have to get the ID of the items. For example I know that coins is 995. Um, and so, we'll open, we'll open up client.java again, and we'll find 995, then the quantity, which is 10 million. And if, as you can see here, has a lot of add item stuff, which will be the items in your uh, inventory. Now the syntax here is uh, similar. To, well, it's actually just basic logic. Add item, then the item ID, Oops. and then the item uh, quantity or number. Then just end it with a, a semicolon, and boom, you're good. Now to find a list, actually. To find a list of item IDs, you're going to want to go to config, 
and then from there go to item. Note that this is a CFG file, a config file. Do not edit anything in it yet before I tell you. Because if you even put a single space in it, then the entire then your source will not run. So don't edit anything. You can look, just don't touch it yet. Um, that is basically all on that end. I hope to have another video up soon on how to add customs. Uh, thanks guys.